Honorable friends, it is one of the ironies of history. It is one of the things that happen in this world in which we live. Yeah. That where men unleashed violence against fellow men, there shall the temples of peace be built. Yeah. Right here, right here, battles were fought. Amen. Right here, men were killed. Oh, yes. In some parts of this place, you find old bullets. In some parts of this place, you find pieces of artillery shell. Oh. Because here, First, black fought white, and later, white fought white. As recently as the 1930s, there were wars going on here. In this place, may a temple of peace be built to take away all the bitterness yeah. of the past and all the pain. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, I'd, I'd like to thank Credo for, uh, yeah. for his words. And I've traveled to 50 countries yeah. over yeah. my life, and I just see the same people everywhere. Mm. They, they want the same things. How many people I've met in my life that wanted a war, that wanted to fight, that wanted conflict? I couldn't count them on that hand, probably, if that. And yet, the world is full of conflict. And conflict comes from people's state of mind. What is in their heart. What is in their head. And it matters not whether you are black, white, yellow, or any color you want to think of, mm -hmm. yeah. it's still, as Martin Luther King said, not about um, the color of your skin, yeah. but the strength of your character. And so we have a world where, as Credo pointed out, in this place, black fought white. And sometime later, white fought white. And what's happening in parts of this country now? Black fights black. Tribe fights tribe. This is not about color. It's not about race. It's about what's in here. And when we open this, we realize, as Credo has seen from his great life, and I've seen from my travels, when you open this, there is only one language. Yes. Yeah. There's only one color. Yeah. There's only one us. Yes. An infinite eye. Mm -hmm. All part of and expressions of the great ocean. Yeah. That is what you call God. Mm. I call the infinite. The name matters not. Only that we are expressions of this infinite consciousness, infinite yeah. awareness. And this is our connection to it, right here. This can shut us off from this, because it gets caught in mind and, 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 and wanting this and wanting that and desire and material things. And this can close down and be dormant while this governs. And this says, I want this, how do I get it? I must fight, we must fight, we must have a war. This says, you're fighting with yourself because we're all expressions of the same one I. And if this, this, this church, this temple of peace, as Credo calls it, um, can be put into this place of historic conflict, then it's an expression of the heart in a place that was desecrated by an obsession with the mind. Yeah. And we are going into an era 
when the heart will start to rule and the head will take its place as the servant of the heart and not its master any longer. So I, I wish you every success in putting this temple of peace in this place and what an honor it has been to, to, to meet you all today and, and that wonderful music and it's always an honor to meet Virginia and always an honor to meet the greatest human being it is my privilege to know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.